watching this video, then you have Windows Vista or Windows 7 Home Edition. If you do not have Home Edition, we ask that you refer to the video labeled Windows Vista or Windows 7 Pro. So we need to create a username of VizHub and give VizHub a password. So we're going to go down to the Start button. We're going to go to Control Panel. And scroll through until you find User Accounts. Double click. And if it comes up to a specific account like this, we want to find the link that says Manage Another Account. Click Continue. Now we're going to create a new account. We're going to name this account BizHub, B-I-Z-H-U-B. Click Create Account. Now select the BizHub user. Click Create a Password. The password we're going to use is going to be exclamation point, uppercase P, A-S-S-W-O-R-D, exclamation point. Put it in the second box also to confirm. And we're just going to put the password hint as copier. Um, that password is a particular one that we use a lot um, for a default password just for scanning. Now click Create Password. And now we've created a username named BizHub with a password of exclamation point uppercase P A S S W O R D exclamation point. That's the end of step one. For step two, we want to create a folder to scan to with the name of my scans and create a desktop shortcut to this folder. Click on the start button in the lower left hand corner of your screen. Now click on computer, double click local disk C, and you can either right click in any space, uh, any white space, and highlight new and select folder. This can also be done with this button up here labeled new folder. And we just want to give that folder a name of my scans. Hit enter. Now right click on the folder, go to properties, left click on the sharing tab, now we want to click share. Now we created a user named BizHub in step one and we want to allow this user to access to this folder. So type B-I-Z-H-U-B and click add. Now BizHub only has the rights to read this folder. We want to change this. So left click on the arrow and select read and write. Now left click on the share button at the bottom of the screen. Just be patient, it takes just a moment. Now click on done. Now our folder is shared out and BizHub has access to it. Just to make sure he has full access, we're going to left click on Advanced Sharing, click on Permissions, now we're going to click the Add button. We're going to add BizHub in here as well, so type B-I-Z-H-U-B, left click OK.
basically if that pops up that's asking you if you're trying to find that user on the domain and it's a good good example that that did pop up um, I forgot this time but basically from this location we can left click on locations and we want to change that to the computer so just select the computer from the top of the list click OK now if we click OK it'll find BizHub on that local computer and we want to click full control now BizHub has full control of this folder now just for the left click OK click OK again and we can left click on the security tab at the top just to make sure BizHub is in here and he has full control so now just close that out last thing you're gonna do is right click on the my scans folder highlight send to from the pop-up menu and left click on desktop create shortcut now we can close this window and that completes step two For step three, we're going to need to set up the one touch on the copier in order to scan to the computer. Um, with the Lexmarks, it's going to require that we use the IP address. If you don't have a static IP address or you're not sure whether or not you have a static IP address, um, first off, you probably don't. Well, we can set it up, and I'm going to go through the normal steps to do that, but even after we set this up there's a chance that in a day to a month anywhere in between it could quit working um, the best way to set up scanning for the Lexmarks is to set the computer with a static IP address and this needs to be done by an IT professional or a member of high tech office systems um, yeah we can do that and just call to find out if you know what the charges are or, you know if we need to come out and do that um, if you're an IT professional you should know the proper steps for setting up a static IP address with that being said let's begin to get the IP address of your computer we're gonna go down to start we're gonna type in CMD in the search box and press enter then we're gonna type in IPCONFIG space forward slash L A L L and we're looking for the IP address which is going to be right here IPv4 address 192.168.1.55 auto configuration DHCP enabled yes so mine is not a static IP address I'm gonna leave it like that for now we'll go ahead and use that for the tutorial so go ahead and write that down 192.168.1.55 now we're gonna to go to the copier and we need the IP address of the copier in order to um, go in there and change settings so go down to the start button we're going to go to devices and printers or you can go to control panel and then click on view devices and printers now we're going to click on the printer that we're using we're going to right click Lexmark X651 is what we're using this tutorial um, should be correct for any of the Lexmarks but we're going to right click on the printer go to printer properties from the pop-up menu we're going to click on the ports tab at the top and then mouse over between ports and description click and drag to the right and then just scroll down and that will show us the port that's selected which is 192.168.1.66 yours should be different than this so just go ahead and write down what yours is and then we can close this window out and close the printer window now we're going to open the web browser. You can use Internet Explorer. Um, I choose to use Mozilla Firefox. Um, 
they're just both internet browsers yeah, it's perfectly up you know perfectly fine to use either one it's up to you now we're gonna highlight the address and delete it we're gonna type in the IP address of the copier 192.168.1.66 and then press enter now we're gonna click on settings in the left column and then click the bottom of the right column where it says embedded solutions scroll down till you find scan to network go ahead and click on scan to network click configure and we want to add a new scan destination the name of this destination I'm just going to use my first name it's perfectly fine if you want to use office one or lobby or whatever you want to call it that's fine I'm just going to use my first name now here it kinda gives us an explanation um, what it needs to be my server backslash and then my share um, basically that's asking for the name of this computer backslash and the name of the shared folder well, the name of this computer is going to be the IP address we got um, earlier in the video and that is 192 dot one six eight dot one dot five five backslash which is right above the enter key and the name of the folder is lowercase my scans scroll down we don't need to put anything in there then use static username and password the username is bizhub b i z h u b and the password is exclamation point uppercase p a s s w o r d exclamation point and PDF is fine uh, that's what most everybody uses we're gonna allow the user to change uh, the file name if they would like to and we're also gonna put a default file name of just scan and we do want to uncheck this enable basic XML index file it's not anything you're going to need, so go ahead and uncheck that. It just put unnecessary files on the computer. Print confirmation page. You're going to know if the scan gets to your computer, so it's not necessary to have a confirmation page. So go ahead and click No. And we're going to click OK. Now that scan destination has been created, I can go test my scanning. And that's the end of step three.